In the following, we would like to deal with how sterile disinfectants can easily and safely be passed in and out of clean room areas. First, we should take a look at the clean room area itself. Special structural measures such as airlocks or air filters make sure that as few foreign substances as possible, such as dust or bacteria, enter the clean room. Bacteria that enter nonetheless are killed by using special disinfectants. Thus, it would of course be serious if impurities, and above all bacteria, entered the clean room, but especially serious via the packaging of the disinfectant. In order to avoid this, these special disinfectants are wrapped in a secondary sterile and double packaging. This way, these disinfectants are still sterile after being passed through, provided, of course, that the necessary working steps have been accurately complied with. How does this double packaging work? For this purpose, we will briefly take a look at the clean room principle, illustrated in a diagram here as an example. The disinfectant required in the sterile area, highlighted in red, must pass at least two airlocks before it is available at the site of operation. The first airlock is highlighted in green-blue, and the second one, the sterile airlock, in blue-red. The first airlock is the first pathogen barrier, just like the outer bag of a disinfectant bottle. In this first airlock, the outer, i.e. the unsterile bag of the disinfectant, is opened. The bottle inside is removed, which is wrapped in a second, sterile bag. In the second airlock, the second inner bag is finally opened. Now the unwrapped sterile bottle is ready for use. If the disinfectant is a concentrate, the in-use solution is prepared with water in a bucket, which has also been passed through, and the bucket with the prepared disinfectant solution is taken into the sterile room. If the disinfectant is a ready-to-use product, for example in a spray bottle, this bottle is taken in the sterile room. It's true that passing through materials in clean room areas is time-consuming, but this is the only way to reduce introduced, undesired pathogens or to prevent them from entering. Double packaging of sterile disinfectants is an additional protection against pathogens and facilitates the passing through of products.